Hey everyone, it's John Croissant here with a VR chat video, and today I'm going to be talking about the new VR chat camera as part of the open beta. Now, some of you may or may not know that recently VR chat announced that it now has an open beta where they are completely refining the user interface, including the camera. And for me, the camera is what intrigues me the most because I love taking photos and videos. And so I thought that it would be really cool to show you guys some of the new features as part of the camera. So let's get right into it. So, hello, here's me, except you guys are seeing from my perspective as so, you know, I can demonstrate the camera. So, if any of you use the VR chat camera, you may immediately notice that the UI for this thing is completely different. Like, this is almost unrecognizable to the current design that's in the official releases. But, relatively speaking, most of the features here are the same. You have the anchor, which is default, local, and world, obviously. So default is just this, local, fixes the camera in one place, but continues to follow you. And world, if I can pick it, world just fixes the camera in place in the world. So this was something already in the VR chat camera, as well as the behavior tab, which was also in the VR chat camera, which just has default, smooth, and look at me, which is the way that the camera behaves. So the default is allows the camera to be really janky like this, make a lot of rapid movements. But then the smooth, the smooth option, as it suggests, smooths it out so it doesn't just be com doesn't just jank out completely. And then look at me. Well, it's as it suggested. Looks at you. Moves around with the movement of your headset. And yeah. But this is a new tab. The focus options. Now, in the original VR chat camera, they did not have options for focus. And here, the VR chat camera has three options for the kind of focus you can have. You can either have no focusing, which is it just shows the raw input of what the camera is seeing. Full auto, which, well, if you can't, if you're not satisfied with anything you can produce on your own, you can use full auto, which automatically adjusts the focus of the camera for you. And as you can see, around me everything is blurred, which... And with this, as you may see, there is actually this circle in the middle, and that's the focus point. So, like, if you see... If I put it here, well, it will it will blur out pretty much everything around it except the point it's focusing on. But then, let's say that I it's focused here, and then I change it to focus there. Well, now you see it's focusing on that, so that isn't blurred out while my face is blurred out and that's basically the gist of it so full auto doesn't have any options but if you go into semi auto which allows you to change the focal length and f stop like so but it but it automatically adjusts the focal distance and then there's manual which allows you to adjust the distance as well as the length and f stop and, uh, well, I'm not a photography expert, so I'm not entirely sure what all these options mean, but 
basically you can mess around with them and get the sort of focus and depth of field that you'd like. And then there's the pins tab, which is just the pins. You can... I've, I haven't actually used the pins before, so I'm not entirely sure what they do. They might be for, like, pinning specific sets of ob specific settings so that you can just change to it. I'd imagine that's how it works, but I'm not entirely sure. Now, you may have noticed I didn't actually talk about the interface itself so you may notice that there's these two new things on the camera itself this flips well this flips the camera's view uh, horizontally as you can see and this is another thing that wasn't in the original VRChat camera the option to zoom <laughs> Hello. <laughs> so now you can adjust the zoom of the camera like so. And you may see this gray line here, which is basically it's that's the normal zoom, and below it is sort of like a skewed zoom, as you can see. And then going in is just zooming in basically. So yeah and then on to the next options there's the masking now there were the filters but i don't think there were like these many options with them so as you can see there's local player remote player environment green screen and ui so Basically, local player is referring to, well, yourself. And if you turn this off, the camera will basically pretend that you don't exist, so you just sort of vanish. Voila. And then remote players are referring to other players who are not you, but... Um, I don't have any friend with me right now, so I can't really demonstrate it. Environment is referring to the world outside of your character. So if you turn it off, well, everything is gone. It's just all transparent. So, and then there's a green screen. So for whatever reason you want to use a green screen, hello, you can. And that's pretty cool. And then you can also have your UI be visible. Like so. So you can actually have your UI be visible in the view of the camera. Pretty cool. So those are all the masking options. And then continuing on. So there's the lens visibility. So you may notice that at the moment you can see the lens as a perfect solid just looking at me here, right? But you can actually now adjust, well, at the moment this only works if other people, this, at the moment this is pretty much just local unless other people are using the open beta, but Anyway, basically, you can have it as the solid, which is what it is right now. You can just see the lens floating. There's ghost. Wait. Oh, whoops. Sorry. Okay, so this is the solid one. This is the ghost one. And this is off. So the lens is still there, but... Well, except for this little light here, you ba it's basically the lens itself is invisible except for the light. So that's pretty cool. And then you have the actual filters, which I believe they have added more than there was originally, such as the speed one. 
you know. And then there's the Hypno one. Ooh. <laughs> there's Pixelate. And then, yeah, basically it's just a bunch of different filters that you can use for whatever needs you uh, want the, to use them for. And then, obviously, there is the timer, which is, well, yeah, it's what's always been there. Three, two, one, boom. You take a picture. And then there's stream mode, which I'm not entirely sure what that is, but it's there, I guess. And then there's lock, which obviously means that you just can't interact with the camera at all. You can't interact with anything on it. Well, you can't interact with the camera, you can still interact with the screen, but yeah, so... Yeah, so this is pretty much all of the options of the new VR chat camera. And uh, I just wanted to show you guys because, you know, I think it's really cool and I am someone who is kinda obsessed with photography and video and like, if any of you fellow viewers like this kind of stuff, I want to sh make this video so you can see what you can do with this new camera. And yeah, so basically, that's the new VR chat camera. Yeah. So, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this. But yeah, uh, I love you all, and I hope you have a great day. Bye.